This is going to be a quick tutorial video to help you save money. Kenny Cool saves you money, as well as teaching you a little bit about resizing JPEG images for various reasons. So let's say that you create a poster that prints fine at 11 and a half or 8 by 11 and a half, and you want to upscale it to something, for example, that looks like this. a two foot by three foot poster and you want it to look good you want it to be not pixelated you want everything to be sharp what you have to do is you have to change the settings on the jpeg image and you can buy programs to do that for you but i'm going to show you how to do it for free there's a couple of little insightful things that you need to know uh, there's lots of programs that allow you to do different things with JPEG images. This program, for example, um, switch over to the dual view here. This program, for example, um, J, JPEG Mini Pro will actually reduce the size of your JPEG images for faster file transfers if you have them on a website. So if you have high resolution images, you need to keep the same resolution but have smaller files. That program will do that. And theoretically, it'll also export and resize this to whatever custom sizes you want. Um, that's one program that can do it. But let me show you how to do it for free. Okay, so let's go take a look at something. Let's, this is really crazy, uh, the way this is showing here. Let me just blow this thing up. Okay, let's say that you have a picture and you want to understand how, how big is it and how do I want to translate the file size or the pixel uh, sizes to print on the big poster like that? So if you, if you just look at the properties of the JPEG, you can see here under details that it's 25, uh, whatever, 68 by 3354 pixels, 72 dots per inch. To print things clean and nice, you want to go to 300 DPI. So let's say we have this image and we want to upscale this to something that's two feet wide. So two feet wide is 24 inches times 300 dots per inch. So if you take 24 times 300, that's 7,200 pixels. So what we're going to do is we're going to upscale this thing to 7,200 pixels. But how do you do that? Well, if you just right click here and you look under properties, there's no upscaling capability here. There's no resizing capability here. Even if you show more options, there's no resizing shown here. However, if you open this file, and you happen to have this really handsome fifth grader named Jet Black, you, you can uh, do a little magic. If you right-click on this, boom, right there is resize image. Resize image then will allow us to change this to 7200 pixels and you notice that proportionally the height also changed and we can increase the quality to 100 percent that takes the current file size from 784 kilobytes to 13 megabytes so it's adding all the pixels necessary to upscale that to 300 dpi to be able to print that on two foot wide poster so as i save that it's going to be I'm going to put it into resized directory here. Let's call it jet resized. And I hit that and it is done. So if we view that folder, here's the resized image. This is original. Let's open up the resized. Here's resized image. Now that I can zoom into this thing and get amazing clarity. You can see the clarity here. So this is going to print beautifully on a two foot by three foot poster. When we then go to the resized and just check the properties on it, just to make sure, we can see the details are now 7200 by 9404 pixels. And although that says 72 dots per inch, um, that that's an, an independent measure because we've calculated this to print on a two foot uh, wide media at 300 dot, dots per inch so that's how you do it to make a nice poster like my wife made and that's the uh 
the little insider information that you need to do it. So thanks for listening.